One of our society's greatest achievements is that we have, by and large, freedom of expression, freedom of speech in most of the societies that people participating on this side live in. And that's something we should be proud of, that's something we should cherish. And I would say if you are taking part in smaller communities, in clubs, in organizations or whatnot, I personally would look for those organizations that accept this principle and embrace it. I wouldn't want to participate in a community or in an organization or in a club that doesn't embrace the idea of freedom of expression, in which you cannot be yourself. So I find it kind of funny when I see people lamenting over how fragmented the YouTube atheist community has become and how much bickering and how much arguing and how much disagreement there is. I don't see that as a problem, I don't see that as a weakness, I see that as a strength. I see that as an indication that the YouTube atheist community has actually matured into something much bigger and stronger and much more resilient than it was three years ago when there was a lot more superficial agreement between the many people, or the few people, or whatever you want to call it, that participated in it at the time. So now, we can disagree with each other. Now we can express different opinions on what we think about certain religions, or how to deal with religious people, and so on and so forth. And that is brilliant, in my opinion. So what if there are people in this community with whom you vehemently disagree you do things your way they will do things their way and I will do things my way I am me yes I am a part of this community I am a part of the YouTube atheist community and I am part of the YouTube community and I am part of the community of people who live in Greystones in Ireland and I am part of the community of all the human beings on this planet whatever you want to see it as I don't expect anybody else in this community to agree with me if I find people who do that's great if I find like-minded individuals that's great and if I find them within this community that's even better that the fact that there are people within this community that I don't agree with doesn't mean in any way, shape or form that I don't consider myself part of this community anymore or that I don't consider them part of that community in anymore. I disagree with them. So what? So, being a free thinker means not that you must sing from the same hymn sheet as everybody else in the free-thinking community. It means that you can sing your own song in this community. It means that you can walk your own path, make your own decisions and express yourself any way you see fit. And anybody telling you otherwise, ignore them. That's the only advice that I can give you. I am me. And you are you. And to end on a really, really corny note, Vive la différence.